why 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 the office of the president yeah because i've uh, i've tried to run for other offices mm. and i've discovered over time that it's actually meaningless because it's the office of the president that yeah. can address majorly the issues we are dealing with with in nigeria today mm. issues of insecurity issues of economy issues of power mm. uh, the major driving issues that we are dealing with mm. has to be addressed from the center mm. because we are running a dysfunctional system of government that will never work that's why it's not worked in 61 years mm. you cannot run a system where everything happens in abuja is not decentralized down to the 774 local government you do not deploy technology you mm. do not have data mm. so you can be living a, a, in falsehood that's why i call the government because they do something they make make a lot of noise about it at the center but it's not replicated at the states at the local governments even at the community level mm. so we need to change the system of government and give the people the enabling environment for them to earn a living for themselves pay taxes to government then from there they can we can talk about development, redevelopment from there. But the system from up to bottom right now is not getting to the man on the street. Mm. It's not getting to the man who doesn't know anybody. So we need to rejig the system. Let's talk about rejigging the system. What would you prefer the system is um, transformed into? Yeah, I, I, I have a vision for the United States of Nigeria. What does that mean? That means that everybody should be accounted for and be accountable to the state they reside. Okay. And so we should jettison this uh, pattern of ethnicity and indigenship. Mm. It's not helping us. Mm. You know, we are saying that the only way Nigeria can progress is for people to be patriotic. Mm. You cannot have people, you cannot get people to be patriotic when somebody moves from Oyo to Lagos, it becomes a non-indigent. Somebody moves from Lagos to Ogun, it becomes a non-indigent. Somebody moves from Delta to Bayasa, it becomes a non-indigent. Mm. No, we should have a state of residence policy whereby everybody within the state is accounted for and accountable to the state government. We have a state government, right? Nobody lives at the borders. Everybody lives within the space of a state. Right. So what that means is that if you ha deploy data, mm -hmm. you should be able to know how many people residing with your, in, within your state. Right. So that is what we determine you providing education, providing mm -hmm. health care, providing security. And when these things are in place, then the people will be able to work and in turn pay taxes to the state government. Mm -hmm. So at that, at that point, we now decide maybe state government can take 70, 80% or 70% and we meet 20% to the center. But the system now that is coming back right. like from the center to the people, that's right. not how a system progresses mm. because that way the people are not progressing. Blanca de Leye on um, YouTube says, your plan are lofty and optimally optimistic. Uh, the main concern is who are those to work with you? Uh, do you have the same vision or do they have the same vision? That's what he's trying to say or interest. Okay. The, for me, I'm going to... Uh, use public opinion a lot okay. and it's already working mm. public opinion in the sense that let the people decide who works oh really yes let okay. the people decide who works so if we want to have like a minister for education for instance throw in your cvs let us get the best come and tell us what you want to do will that not Does take you align? will that not take you forever no, like... it, it's not going to take forever because in 24 hours you mm. can attend to several people it's, don't forget that it's, it's nigeria not, it's a whole country it, it is technology mm. it's we are deploying tech even right now i'm reaching my delegates via tech